Did you set your clock back? So, baseball is over. Well, the playing of actual games is over. We still have the whole off season and winter meetings and whatnot around the corner. So there's a whole bunch of speculation to be doing. But that's not what's happening now. Right now, as you mentioned, Thursday, we have a whole bunch of NFL politics still going on. And the NHL season is off to a bit of a roller coaster start. So we have a lot to talk about. But I'm not going to talk about any of that today. What I do want to talk about today is basketball. Yes, I want to talk about the NBA. And no, don't worry, there's going to be no politics. So what makes me qualified to talk about basketball? Have I even played a game? Attended a game? I've never actually played a real game other than like gym class, but it doesn't mean I'm not an expert. Oh, so I'm an expert, hmm? I didn't say I was an expert. Well, if I'm not an expert, what am I saying? I watched the last 10 minutes of the Celtics Thunder game Friday night, and it was amazing. Friday nights I do pizza delivery, so I check my phone for the sports updates for what I'm missing of what games I might be watching. And I saw the Celtics, they were getting walloped by the Thunder. They were down 37 to 55 at the half. I had no faith in my team. Yeah, that's right. I said my team. I'm a Celtics fan. But that's a story for another day of how I got into them. Now, an 18-point deficit is not impossible in an NBA game. We see teams go up and down all the time. But when you're in the home court of a team who has three all-stars, such as Carmelo Anthony, Paul George, and now the reigning MVP Russell Westbrook, who averaged a triple-double last year. That's not an easy task to do. But the Celtics did it. They overcame that 18-point deficit. Like I said, I don't really watch too much basketball. I'm not an expert, but from what I do pick up from watching a little bit of the stuff and listening in on Sports Center and PTI and Around the Horn and some of these other shows, I sort of pick up on certain things. I'm just naturally like that. And I always say the third quarter is the most important in the basketball game. Now, the Celtics, they outscored the Thunder 30-16 to 16 in the third quarter. That made an 18-point gap into a 4-point gap heading into the 4th and final quarter. After starting off the season 0-2, the Celtics have now won 7 straight, which is the first time that has ever happened in NBA history. One of the key plays I saw in the 4th quarter was Kyrie Irving taking a 3-point shot. He attracted a foul as he took that shot, which means he gets a 4-point play by making a free throw. Now, historically, Kyrie Irving is a very good free throw shooter, averaging the high 80 percentage to the low 90s, which is pretty good. But he missed this one. But instead of just standing there looking stupid, he hustled, he got the rebound, made the layup, and had a five-point play instead of a four-point play. That's hustle. Yes, Al Horford, he had some big threes in the fourth quarter from the corner, but that five-point play, that's where the money was. It shows the Celtics are there to contend with the best of the teams, with or without Gordon Hayward. Now, I do want to continue talking about basketball and the Celtics, but I really got to watch more than 10 minutes of a basketball game. Until then, see you Thursday. Also, have you seen LeBron's new shoes? Sort of look like the Jimmy shoes from that Seinfeld episode. They're plyometric. Plyometric? Yeah, they isolate the muscles. The muscle has to grow or die.